Okay, a uh, specific charge is uh, charge over mass, okay? So if you're looking at a nucleus or you're looking at an electron or a particle, all we need to know is it's charge divided by its mass. So for specific charge, as long as you remember it's charge divided by mass. So the units are obviously coulombs per kilogram, so it's coulombs per kilogram. So the units of specific charge are coulombs per kilogram. So if, for example, we were asked, what's the specific charge of an electron? Well, we'd say the mass of an electron, the mass of an electron from our formula sheet. Now, we could use our formula sheet, and if we looked at our formula sheet, we'd see the mass of an electron is 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. So our mass is 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 kilograms. And if we looked again at our formula sheet, we'd see that the charge of an electron is 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. So we know our mass is 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31, and our charge equals 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. Now because we know specific charge is coulombs per kilogram, charge per unit mass, we know that the specific charge equals 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by the mass of the electron which is 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31. So if we get a calculator we could say 1.6 times 10 to the power of minus 19 divided by 9.1 times 10 to the minus 31 and that will give us a specific charge of the electron of 1.76 times 10 to the 11 coulombs per kilogram. Okay? That's also the highest specific charge of any particle. Now we could also be asked for something a bit harder. So for example, we could be asked, what is the specific charge of a carbon nucleus? So we know specific charge is coulombs per kilogram, charge per unit mass. So if we think about a carbon nucleus, what's carbon look like? Well, it's 12, 6. So that tells us it's got six protons and six neutrons. Now we know of those two types of particle, the only one with a charge is the proton. So we know that the charge is going to be six lots of protons, but we also know that the neutrons have mass. So when we're thinking about the mass of the carbon nucleus, we need to think about the protons and the neutrons. But for the charge, it's just the protons. Okay? So let's think about the charge of a carbon nucleus, okay? So the charge would be 6 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 coulombs. But the mass, we could look on our formula sheet again, and we could see that the mass of a proton and a neutron, roughly the same at AS, it's fine to consider them as the same. So we'd say we've got 6 of them, 6 of them, so 12. 12 times 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27 kilograms. That's the mass of a proton and a neutron. So if we put that into the calculator, that'll give us the specific charge of a carbon nucleus, which would be 6 times 1.6 times 10 to the minus 19 divided by 12 in brackets, 12 times 1.67 times 10 to the minus 27, which comes out to be 4.8 times 10 to the 7 coulombs per kilogram. Now we could do this for any particle, but of course the neutron, the specific charge of a neutron is zero because if we were looking at a neutron and we're looking at charge over mass, particles such as the neutron, which are neutral, 
have no charge and therefore they have no specific charge. Okay?